Well, welcome back. So we are basically just hanging out up here, keeping an eye out for Charlie, because, uh, yeah, we might be getting a visit from them. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I had a thought. Uh, it, it basically occurred to me that I had all those slugs. Excuse me. There we go. I had all those slugs available, and I didn't actually have... Uh, oh, you know what we could do? We could probably jump right down. <laughs> there we go. And we never used them. And I think I ended up putting them away. And I think what I'm going to do is we need to do a bit of a, a response. So basically, yeah, we're going to do an all slug response. So when they come by and attack us, which usually Charlie's pretty good about coming in the morning. I don't really know when they're going to come by, but there we go. We've got, this is, this is our base defense weapon right here. Oh, is that a strawberry? <gasps> it's a strawberry. You know what? I just had a thought that maybe that strawberry was put there as a, a lure. It, it's a lure. It's a, And then basically I'm going to get ambushed. No? Okay. <laughs> oh, somebody else had a good idea too. Oh, that's right. You know what? We need to, uh, we should upgrade that one wall piece to metal because uh, I think it uh, definitely has troubles. So, all right, let's do Let's grab the metal. There we go. And, yeah, it, I think that makes sense. It's uh, it's obviously a vulnerability, right? This is probably where we're going to get attacked most of the time. So why not? Okay, so we're going to come up over here and then hit R. And the nice thing is this: we don't have to do repairs now because it goes to full health when you upgrade it, which, you know, it's kind of helpful. All right, let's put this stuff away, and uh, we'll just sort of hang out. I've got a few things that I have in mind that we could do while we wait for, uh, you know, we, one of the things we could do is we could have a nice rewarding, wait a minute, is that another three? Oh, that's right, walls are only three iron, oh, what do you think, this one here, or this one here, or we can't do the, oh, or we could do, uh, oh, foundation is also oh it's a corner foundation that's right now this one is is um, partially damaged this one is partially damaged i think maybe we should just do this one here uh it's sort of you know this is kind of pointing in the danger danger area so there we go got a couple of metal walls in there that's kind of nice do, 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 do. okay let's put stuff away and yeah let's put stuff away and then uh figure out what we can do, what, how we can occupy ourselves uh, while we're waiting for people to come by and visit us. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Um, I do have a lot of... Oh, I got a lot of 9mm. Uh, Did you look, Take a look at how much 9mm I have. Wow. Okay, we're going to dump that. Uh, what do you think? 42? 42. That sounds like a nice round number. And we don't have any... Oh, we got one water in there. Put stuff away keep one water on us for washing our hands we've got you and oh i've got a spare pickaxe that's right that's right that's right because uh yeah this one's almost done so that makes sense all right i think we're in good shape now the other thing that we need to do uh today is go out and we're going to do some basic looting well actually no it's it's something else somebody may have had a comment and they said you know your your fridge is getting kind of empty well, it is getting empty-ish. I mean, I do have... This is actually a fair amount of food, right? Like, you know, I mean, it's not... We're not... I mean, <laughs> we, we're not destitute. Like, this is a few days or, a, you know, of, of meat or whatever, right? So, I'm not too worried about that. But let's take a look and see what we've got in the uh, magic bin. So, yeah, that's not really a big issue. But maybe we could go out and um, get a few things, shall we say. Oh, uh, we got a lot of iron ingots. Got a lot of pearls. Interesting. Interesting. What does it take for us to make... Oh, not in here. Okay. Uh, solar panels. Rope. That's right. See, everything else isn't too bad. This is, this is kind of bad. 150 mass to make a solar panel? Did that go up? Ah. Well, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. It doesn't really matter. What I could do is make a bunch of circuit boards. So, and I think that's probably, what is that? That's, um, 
Uh, pearls and copper. So, at the very least... Oh, and some electronic pieces. Okay. At the very least, I think that uh, we're going to need circuit boards. So, why don't we um, invest some of our mass in that? In fact... Yeah, let's just do six of them. And, we, yeah, we just burn through all of our mass. That's fine. And use up some of our stuff. Because I, I don't know. I have, I've been in... Oh, not this one. Uh, I've been neglecting some of the other aspects of the base. Like, you know, we're, we're focused so much on getting the glass work done. Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind a little more power. That would be kind of nice. You know, like right here. Th th we could do with a... Like, this, this is kind of empty. We could put some solar panels right here. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, so there's that. That kind of thing. Um, we could make even one more turbine. What is the turbine cost? Uh, probably very similar. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's a little more. I mean, a, a bit more scrap, more adhesive, a bit more rope. I guess that's the other thing we could probably look at doing is making some rope. I keep going into the wrong freaking, um, thing there. That's, why don't we make a couple of rope at least, right? That still leaves us with 10 sinew, and, uh, that should cover us for a little while. Oh... I keep going into the, What am I doing? There's some reason why I keep going into that chest. What's drawing me in here? What is this? Why am I getting some sort of magnetic behavior with this chest? This is crazy. Man, I really should be using more SVT. I've got so much SVT ammo, it's not funny. Uh, no, I... Uh, <laughs> somebody was joking. Don't you dare start recycling am ammunition. I'm like, I, I, I don't think I'd ever do that. <laughs> that. That sounds like crazy talk. Yeah, where are they? It's very strange. Usually they're a bit better at their uh, retaliations than this. I mean, Charlie's not... They're not slackers. Not like those guys over there. I mean, those guys over there, they're pretty cool. That's uh, Alpha. Charlie's really, you know, they're usually on the ball. There's, I mean, there's Larry... Larry's kind of Ruprecht's cousin. Uh, he's not the brightest. And actually, maybe maybe he's leading the team this time. And uh, Yeah, and now they're, they're kind of confused about how to get down here. It's entirely possible, I suppose. Hmm. All right, well, I'll tell you what. We've, uh, we've made a bunch of stuff. Um, we've made some, uh, some circuit boards. I think we've probably... Let's put, let's put aside some materials. I don't really feel like generating... Like, I'll let this base, the base, go up to 100 mass, and I'll generate 50. I'm not really feeling like generating 130 mass just to make a, a solar panel. Uh, although, we could make a wind turbine, which is 200 mass. But still, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my free mass out of the base, and then we'll uh, do something about it then. So, yeah, why don't we make another wind turbine? We can, let's see, we've got rope. Uh, was it two rope, which we've got? Here, let's start gathering stuff. I keep going into the wrong chest, and I don't know why. For some reason, that's really weird. Uh, three circuit boards. Uh, six. Okay. One, two, three. And six. And he's... Why is my mind not working? Uh, it is six adhesive. See, I'm now I'm starting to doubt myself. This is absolutely terrible. And just so that I can prove that I do have somewhat of a memory, I believe it's 12 scrap. We're going to verify this. There we go. And 12 scrap. So we have all of the materials. And what I'll do is I will set these aside somewhere. We could put them in the... F no, we don't have any room in there. Why don't we just put them in here? And we'll put them aside for uh, building a new wind turbine. I think that's kind of a nice idea. There we go. And then we'll just sort of wonder why we're not getting attacked. And it's a bit weird. I wouldn't mind going out there. Oh, they, that's the other thing. I should be... Um, this is what it is. I need these. This is why I, my, my mind was telling me that I needed the, uh, the insect repellent. Because I got... It, it, it's June. There were strawberries. There were strawberries this morning. Which means that uh, I could run into bees, which means I needed the insect repellent, and my the my 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 animal brain was trying to remind me to tell me to come in here and get this. Now, okay, in reality, it's just me being a bit of a dweeb, 
and uh, for some reason just opening the wrong chest. But I do like my explanation. It makes me feel better. Now, I am curious about the beehives. Apparently, they are fairly rare. In fact, you know what? Let's just go out and gather a bit. Oh, hey, I think we got some vegetables ready. Uh, we'll just do a little bit of light looting in the area and then hope that uh, hope that we get visitors soon. Now, wait a minute. Let me come up here because I looked around and there was something. There it is, right there. It was uh, this the the fiber. So yeah, apparently now, as far as beehives are concerned, we are now officially in summer, so we have to start keeping an eye out for beehives, and uh, that's kind of cool. I'm 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 really excited about that actually. Um, but uh, I've been warned that the really you know spotting them is not the main way that you determine where they are. It's you can hear them, and uh, I think that's actually really cool. And what I'm hoping for is when we finally get uh, this the attack done, which let's just do this and see if we can keep an eye out. When we finally get the attack done, because I don't, you know what, I would prefer to uh, defend the base a little bit. I, I actually enjoy it. Um, but once we get that sorted out, uh, I wouldn't mind going and seeing if I can find a beehive. Now, most likely I'm not going to find one. So it'll just be your basic loot trip and, uh, you know, with a, with a beehive option. <laughs> uh, but apparently you hear them. That's the, this is the, what I, where I was going with all that is that you'll hear them before you see them. So it's more a matter of keeping your ears open. And I like that. You know, it is very consistent with uh, the way Cold Games uh, does things. He, he tends to... Make it as much about your the, your hearing as it is about your seeing, and uh, that's one of the one of the, I think one of the reasons why I've always really liked this game. Oh oh, I think Ruprecht is down by the on his rock. I'm feeling kind of anxious. There he is, right there. I don't know where the I don't know where the guys are. I mean, why aren't they coming down? Ruprecht even managed to figure out how to get to his rock, and they're up there. They're probably like you know, planning. They probably are trying to figure out what to put in the picnic basket. <laughs> you know, like they're, if they're making a day trip, that's the, probably you know what it is. Is they they head out the door and and then they get part way down here, and one of them goes, "Oh man, I can't remember if I locked the door," and so then they all have to turn around and go back up there. And yeah. Just very disorganized. Ruprecht is at least organized. It's just that he just he just he just doesn't know how to get down to the water. It's a really sad case. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go kill somebody. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this to work. One more shot. Is that going to take him out? Oh, ho, 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 ho. not bad. Uh, I'm not used to using shotguns at range, but that actually worked out pretty good. Well, thank you, Ruprecht. Oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, did I didn't get any gears out of you, but I did get some nice... I can use these weapons parts for recycling. And look, he brought me some sandstone ore. Oh, Ruprecht, you, you're a really nice guy. I'm just going to hop up and down here in excitement. There we go. <laughs> oh, I, I thought... <laughs> I'm so used to washing my hands after looting and stuff like that that I thought the... the uh... <laughs> oh, man. I am just completely distracted by the fact that these guys haven't bothered to show up yet. Half my mind is just sort of keeping an eye out for them, if you know what I mean. Or an ear out, or, you know... Actually... Oh, there was some stuff down on the beach here, but... Well, there it is right there. I don't want to go too far. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Oh, almost, almost screwed that up. All right. <clears throat> now, let's cook up some sandstone because we need that. You know what we could do? We could get do a bit of sandstone work. That would be kind of uh, right around the area. That's actually not a bad idea. 
Um, I'm just trying to find... Oh, no, I don't want to put you in there. But we can put you in there. Just trying to find l things that I can do around the uh, around the base. Because, you know, as I say, I, I would, I'd like to be here when they come by. In fact, yeah, let's do that. Let's go and do with some local sandstone work. We, we do need it. Oh. We could also do some fishing. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, it's a clam. That's okay. We can get the clam. We can get the, uh, get the kelp, too. Do, 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 do. There we go. And what else? Anything down there? I don't really want to go that, too much down that way. Just because, oh, seriously? Right, 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 right. I gotta breathe. Uh, because, yeah, I, I it, it, it's possible that the, uh, the hunters, if they see me, they might attack me when I'm in the water and... I'd rather they come and, and attack the base and then I defend the base. I don't know. It just feels more uh, right. It feels more right to me. Anything that, that looks like an ore. Is that an ore or is that just the sun glinting off of... No, it's just the sun. Any other sandstone or anything in the median area? No? Seriously? It's kind of weak, isn't it? At least we got a little bit more sandstone, though. And we got, hey, we got some kelp here. We can grab that. Uh, you know, some of the hunters just, they're rude. They're very rude. You know, you, 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 uh, they say, or you, they sort of give the implication or they imply that they're going to come by at a certain time and then they don't. And then you're just left hanging. It's just, it's not fair. It's really, it's just not a very nice thing to do. Uh, uh, I, I keep getting uh, told that I should be uh, recycling kelp, so we're, we'll throw some kelp in there for recycling. I am aware of the fact that I can recycle, you know, vegetables and kelp and stuff like that. Um, but really, you know, I, I just sort of reserve that for the, for the uh, that's like my second tier. My first tier for recycling stuff is like a burnt meat and weapons parts and stuff that I definitely will never use all that much. Um, this is my reserve of biofuel. All of this right here. So I could just make a whole bunch of biofuel. Actually, how's my fire? Oh, not good. Okay. <sighs> you know, I had plans for today, and it just seems like, you know, uh, the hunters have different plans for me. You seriously, you guys are not going to come by? You're just going to leave it till late at night, right? You're procrastinating. Maybe they're all hung over. Maybe they had a big party. Now they're all like, you know, lying in bed going, Oh man, I can't get up. I don't really want to do anything. And then, you know, they don't care about my feelings. All right, well, let's just, uh, let's see what we can catch. It's summertime, so I think the, uh, the fish that, uh, become more prevalent changes. Um, it's pike in the winter. And is it bass in the summer? Is that the uh, catfish? That's it, catfish. Catfish is the one that's um, kind of more of a summery thing. Uh, so who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and get some, some catfish. I really did want to go and do some extra looting, but uh, I'm just sort of looking at... That's, I don't know. We're not, we don't have a lot of time. And uh, I, I really... Uh. <laughs> but that's okay. We do a little bit of fishing. Just we're just gonna hang out around the base and wait for them to get their act and act together. You know, this better be worth it, Charlie, because you know this is, I, and you can tell by the way that they're not even remotely close to coming yet because uh, there the, there's animals there, and if you see the animals run, if you see them sort of just run away, then you know that uh, Charlie's coming down. And uh, that's one of the indications. It's not 100%. I think, um, yeah. It's the idea is that it gives the, uh, the, the, it clears the path for them to come and attack your base so that they don't get distracted on the way. But yeah, see, there's like a, there's a wolf just sitting right there and he's not, he's not moving one bit. I don't get it at all. It's like they don't care. It's like they've just 
you know, decided that it's perfectly fine. I, yeah, we're, whatever. No big deal. Ooh, what is this? Is this a perch? Might be a perch. Yeah, it's a little guy. little perch. Okay. Yeah, right there. Anyways. <clears throat> So what can we? What else? What else is it that uh, we could do? Well, um, as far as I'm talking long term, like in the short term, we're going to do some fishing, and uh, if these guys come by, we can go out maybe do a bit of looting after that. Uh, I need to get a bit more wood and that kind of thing. But uh, as I'm talking about the base, with respect to the base, uh, I don't think I want to do like in a perfect world, I would do that whole end in metal like just metal sheet metal the whole thing but i don't think that we're going to be able to like that's a lot of work and i i, I think you know i do need to we need to move on so we're going to do the main part of the base in glass and then we're going to do definitely the um uh, the walkway in metal and maybe the the oh and maybe the uh and some of the like the end piece there in metal but not the wall i don't think like we'll have metal for strategic places but uh nothing more than that i think that'll be fine what have we got is this a little fish again oh my goodness seriously what's with the pad fishing and so but anyways yeah we need to we need to finish off we need to get more sandstone to finish the glass off then i'm going to do metal for the walkway that's the single co the corridor right and then metal for the you could call it the hammerhead it's kind of like a hammerhead. It, it kind of, it's flat on the back and then it's sort of got a rounded. Ooh. Is that another little fish? I think it is. And then it's got a, like a rounded front. It's the same as with that end. That end has a hammerhead as well. And, you know, we, that, that part I can do metal and then the rest is, yeah, wood. But anyways. But, but, and then, oh yeah, right, right, right. We need to boost a little bit more power because once this BCU is no longer the primary, everything in this base is going to be running purely off of what can be generated by the, uh, by the generators, obviously, but, um, by the solar panels and the wind. And I wouldn't mind leaving the fridge running, leaving the mining drills running. Uh, somebody had a great idea. They were saying that I should use the, uh, keep the still here and then just keep uh one make this base one of its purposes is basically the distillery and so you know when i want to run the dist i just run the distillery and the food like the vegetables you don't have to uh you don't have to actually you can just plant the seeds and eventually they just grow um and so you know i mean we could just leave them all four of them with seeds in them and then when we come by make sure there's always potatoes in the plant beds and then you know take the potatoes maybe that by then the power's built up and then you can i thought i saw something no uh and then basically you could just you know make uh you know grab a bunch of water and then make the alcohol and then just use this base for the alcohol generation it'll become like my uh it's like the like uh, I don't know, <laughs> Ono's Ono's uh, vodka retreat or something like that. I don't know. It's potato, right? What is what are the what are the different types of things you can make with potato? Oh, I think there's a. Oh, hey, that's a big fish. I think there's some. Uh, I think there's some Scandinavian stuff that you can make that make uh, uses potatoes. Um. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's. Uh, oh, they're coming! They're coming! Uh, there's Slivovitz, which is made with plums. That's not Scandinavian, of course. That's something completely different. Uh, let's see. Oh no, we should put you in here. That goes in there, and then I think that's it. Oh, except for the wood. Ha ha! <laughs> is it only one guy? Actually, let's go on the second floor. Let's try the second floor out. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah, I think he's down there. Yeah, see, they like this corner, don't they? Oh, there he is. Oh, 
<laughs> so I'm not really very good at is he what is he doing? At using the shotgun at distance like this. Did he run away? Did he just basically make a couple of shots at the base and then run away? No. I waited for that. Nope, he's back. Oh! Oh, there's two of them! Oh, he lit himself on fire! <laughs> what was that all about? What is with them running all the way? Oh, by the way, they never set off that claymore, did they? They're not using any of this stuff as cover. Did he run away again? What is... This is very weird. I don't really understand what's going on here. It was one guy came running down. He, he kind of attacked. Then he ran away. Then two came down. Uh, one of them lit themselves on fire. Okay, this is... I really don't understand what's going on. Let's see if we can see them walking on the way back. Often you can see them walking in the distance. Yeah, I don't even see them walking. You'd be surprised, by the way, at the range you can get out of this pistol. It's quite amazing. And I... You, uh, we've made... in uh, Not in not in my single player as much, but in the... In the uh, co-op game we we used to do some pretty <laughs> we just would screw around and make some pretty impressive shots not really planning to just that's what happened yeah he just took off all right let's go get the uh okay i thought i saw something let's go get the uh, bag before it despawns now it was over here wasn't it oh man me and I can't remember where the bags go. Uh, oh, it was over here. There it is. Shotgun shells. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right. Well, I, I'll tell you that was. I'm not. I wasn't really that. Uh, let's see. That claymore is still there. Come on. There we go. Why? I don't know why they're not hiding behind the tree. They used to hide behind that tree. Maybe I should put it somewhere else, like over behind one of those trees. You know what? I'm going to do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's finish this tree off. And then we'll come over here and we'll... Um, what does it end? Yeah. Grab that. And we can... I think we'll move it over... Oh, man. I'm going to lose it soon here. Right here. Yeah. I think that's a good spot for it. All right. <laughs> okay. That was the weirdest attack. So I don't really know exactly what that was all about. Um, it's, it's almost as if one guy left too early. <laughs> and then he, he got down here and then he sort of went... Uh, he, he realized he was alone... And so he went to go get his, like, go back and find his buddy. Or, oh, I got it. I, I, I know what happened. So he, the one guy came down. He, uh, he started the attack and he realized that he was all alone. And that his buddy got lost between, the, between Charlie and the, uh, and the base and my base. So, so yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's much better. So he sent, uh, yeah, one of them. I bet you that was Lawrence. Lawrence got lost on the way to, uh on the way to the base and, and his friend had to go back and find him and lead him here and then it was probably Lawrence that got killed to be honest with you and actually no Lawrence was the one that set himself on fire <laughs> that, that sounds like something yeah that sounds like something Ruprecht's cousin would do oh boy <laughs> oh no all right, let's go in. It's dark. Oh, what an what an odd day! <laughs> but you know what? It was fun. <laughs> we did all kinds of things. I actually got a little bit of fishing in, which is kind of nice. Oh, we can uh, we can do some salmon. 
Cool. I like that. And also, we'll take a look at the mass situation. Yeah, let's do that too. But first, we'll take care of the, the plants and all that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll take a look at the mass situation and then go from there. And see what we can do and what we can't. Actually, we could just do this and go... Oh, it's 100. Okay. What we could... Here's what we can do. Um, let's just get this prepped and going. And then we'll just start generating mass. And we need 150... Well, we need 200 for the wind turbine. So... And maybe... We, let's go Let's go for the wind turbine. And, and uh, I think that's a nice goal. So... Uh, let's see. We're going to hang on to you. Oh, nice. We got some iron. Look at that. Uh, grab all this stuff. Cook this. And... Oh, we overflowed on medicinal tonic again. Ha <laughs> ha! That's pretty good. All right, everything's put away. Let's let's feed let's feed the plants and the animals, and uh, and then see if we can go about making ourselves a nice wind turbine. I think that would be nice. That'd be good. Uh, animals first, yes. I like that idea. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hey guys, how's it going? No, not that. That, and then that, and then that, and then grab that. There we go. And we already got you, but just just because. Okay. There we go. And now, do I have enough water? Actually, this these plants here, I'm gonna harvest them. So. Uh, we'll give them one water, but they don't need anything else. Well, we can give them a bit of fertilizer, too. And, oh, there we go. Is that enough? Yeah. And the potatoes are ready. Are you ready, too? No, not yet. There we go. We'll just give you water. Good enough. All right. Potatoes. In fact, we might do another bed of potatoes. Or carrots. I haven't decided. And uh, tomatoes and Oh, do we have any more cotton seeds? Huh. We'll have to check that out. Oh, right, right, right. I always forget that cotton is slower. There we go. Um, what do we have? We have... Uh, well, we're going to do tomatoes, that's for sure. But we don't have any cotton seeds, so... Um, we'll just grab eight of you. And actually, here, what we can do is this. Um, we'll put eight there. We'll do five plus one at six. There we go. Grab the eight. And uh, so that's our tomatoes. And then carrots, tomatoes. Let's do carrots. Let's do carrots. Okay. And now we're going to need... Uh, eight carrot seeds. Uh, let's see. Put the potatoes away. Yeah, see, we, we're, we've got... <laughs> we're not going to have a full stack of, of carrots. And this shall not be... Uh, we can't handle that. So let's do... There we go. And... Boom. All right. Oh, and... Oh, let's eat that. No, I can't eat it. Oh, oh. Actually, you know what we could do? Um, we could do some salmon. I actually wouldn't mind that. We could, uh, that one will harvest for oil and oil. And this one will harvest for oil. We don't need it to eat the little fish. Uh, but we can cook the salmon. There we go. And, oh, no, 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 no. Cotton's in here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now we are going the light the sun is going to come up very soon. It's getting it's going to get light out. And um 
I really should see if I can figure out where the rogues are before that happens. So... Whoa! Oh, that's Lawrence. Okay. No, uh, that's Ruprecht. All right, we got somebody over here on that beach. Uh, it looks like there's a camp. Oh, there's a camp. Oh, right up the hill. Look at that. Halfway between me and Charlie. And there's one down by the lake, the little pond in the in the valley. Okay, that's... Oh, this look at these guys right here. Oh, that is that is pretty interesting actually. And then we got these guys over here. Cool. I I always find it kind of neat when uh to figure out where the rogues are. And if they're if they're close by, it's actually I think it's kind of cool. I always find it kind of cool. There we go. And then we can eat you and you. Do this this take a look 167 we're almost there and then let's see what else have we got i think that's it i think we've uh taken care of our nightly chores that's kind of cool although um here we'll have a couple of our uh there we go that's just about right perfect all right what is the situation here well it's not good. We could we could just recycle a few things. Actually, let's just do that. Let's, let's recycle a few things. Turn that off. And yeah, you see what it does to the power. It really does tank the power quite heavily. Um, just to make people happy. Here, I'll show you. Uh, this should give you three mass. You see, there we go. And so, there we go. Now, that's not going to be enough, but it's close. And then we can grab, I don't know, a few of these. How much are they each? I can't remember. Six. Six plus three. That's, there we go. That'll make it 99, 98. And then we'll use the uh, fabricator for the last little couple. But, I mean, take a look at how much power this, that, that mass fabricator. It's actually burning more power than three generators can actually. <laughs> it's really, I, well, not, actually, it isn't more. It's, um. 2.5. The, the generators can do three. So this is actually doing more, but is it because oh, I had the laser going. We should be better now. Yeah, we are. We are. We're now positive. Okay. Turn you off. We don't need the That's fine, actually. We, that's okay. Oh, right. Um, we need the stuff. And we don't make it in the workbench. We make it in the BCU. Now, Pete, you might have a question. Why is some things made in the BCU and some things made in the workbench? Well, the answer to that question is the workbench didn't always exist. Um, now, this this still came long after the workbench, but I think in the end, basically, it's uh, these are like buildables. Building things are here, and then in here, in the workbench, it's more tools. Uh, tools and components and weapony type stuff. So that's I think what it's what it is now. But originally the um, the workbench didn't exist in this. Did it not exist? Oh, I can't remember when the work. I might be I might be talking out my butt. Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyways, but that's the difference between the two. These are more building items, and then the workbench is more tools and weapony things. All right, so let's uh, make ourselves a wind turbine. Do 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 do, and go place it on the roof. I think it's going to look awesome. There we go. A little more power is always nice. Now, I like putting them over here because it is a... L I, think, I think it's more sheltered over here. Now, I have to think about where do we want to stick it. How far back is that one? It's like one and a bit. Okay, so I would say it's one and a bit. That's probably right. And then we'll go in the middle. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. I think that one's a little 
closer th to that one. These two are closer than those two. Maybe I didn't. The my bit was too small. Here, let's let's actually do this again. We'll just take this, and we'll just move it back to here. Like that. Oh, <laughs> hello, dear. How's it going? Oh, you know what? No. <laughs> I need to use up SVT ammo, so. <laughs> All right. I think that's good. It's not bad, at least. They're probably still a little bit off, but I can live with it. All right, well, I think this is a good place to stop. So it was definitely an interesting day. It was a bit weird, a little discombobulated. We did a little bit of it. We even got some fishing done, which is kind of cool. Defended the base, had uh, watched a hunter light themselves on fire, trying to light my base on fire. Uh, upgraded a few panels on the wall. I don't know, it was actually kind of a, and we made ourselves a, a nice uh, wind turbine, which is kind of useless today. <laughs> but you know, you can't win them all. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.